Hello students, I am taking a question uh, on the statements of maxima and minima and the question says find the rectangle of maximum area which can be inscribed in a semicircle. You must have done the question in which they uh, let you inscribe the rectangle in a circle, but this is a semicircle. So when it's the semicircle of radius capital R units, when they say semicircle and they don't give radius, then it's your wish. You can take diameter, you can take anything. If the perimeter is given, then remember the perimeter of a semicircle is half the circumference plus 2r, which is the base, that is the diameter. But since here the radius is given, so you can't take anything else. Just draw the diagram and just see what happens. Yeah, hello students, I'm taking a question on the statements of maxima and minima. And the question says, find the rectangle of maximum area which can be inscribed in a semicircle. You must have done the question in which they uh, let you inscribe the rectangle in a circle but this is a semicircle. So when it's the semicircle of radius capital R units. When they say semicircle and they don't give radius, then it's your wish. You can take diameter, you can take anything. If the perimeter is given, then remember the perimeter of a semicircle is half the circumference plus 2r, which is the base, that is the diameter. But since here the radius is given, so you can't take anything else. Just draw the diagram and just see what happens. Yeah, hello students, I'm taking a question on the statements of maxima and minima. And the question says, find the rectangle of maximum area which can be inscribed in a semicircle. You must have done the question in which they uh, let you inscribe the rectangle in a circle, but this is a semicircle. So when it's the semicircle of radius capital R units, when they say semicircle and they don't give radius, then it's your wish. You can take diameter, you can take anything. If the perimeter is given, then remember the perimeter of a semicircle is half the circumference plus 2r, which is the base, that is the diameter. But since here the radius is given, so you can't take anything else. Just draw the diagram and just see what happens. And obviously you will place if this is the radius, this is also the radius. Now, if you uh, want to place the rectangle, obviously you will put one of the sides of the rectangle along the diameter of the semicircle, uh, that is the base. And you will obviously be placing at the center, the rectangle at the center, that is the midpoint of the length will also be the center of the circle or semicircle. Now, because the area of the rectangle is length into breadth and they are linear, so if you go by Pythagoras or converse of Pythagoras, you need to introduce square root, which in terms will be lengthy and for double derivative it will be a trouble 
so we suggest to use trigonometry so many people are scared of trigonometry but if you enter into trigonometry it will be easier because if I take theta and you can see that now triangle OAB is working as right angle triangle triangle OAB is right angled so if I take 2x to be the length let the length be 2x and the breadth be y units so this is y so in this smaller triangle using the smaller triangle we can fetch half of that will be x we can fetch the value of x and y so just see what is sine theta so sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so y upon r so y is equal to r sine theta similarly what is cos theta that is x upon r so with that we reach to x which is r cos theta so the length will be 2x so what is the area now what is the function so i take the function as uh, area ar area of the rectangle which is 2x into y which is nothing but 2r cos theta into r sin theta so just see it is so simple a thing and now i'm using 2 and I'm taking r square which is a constant so what is 2 sine theta cos theta that is sine 2 theta so just see it is so simple a thing and now function is ready this is this needs to be maximized so we are differentiating it with respect to theta so differentiating area we get and that is Now for maximum and minimum. And uh, in case of statements, when you are dealing with triangles and rectangles, obviously you will find only the principal angle. Had it been general questions, then you need to find the general answer. But here, because we are dealing with the rectangle and just see the part of it is a triangle, so we'll only be taking the principal angle that is 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 which is 90 degrees so theta is equal to pi by 4 now since after the first derivative we have theta is equal to pi by 4 it is necessary to do the double derivative so now we are differentiating again so that is d square d theta square so the derivative turns out to 4 r square minus sine to theta so now when we put the value of theta we get this is less than zero because r and 4 are positive quantities so clearly uh, mi minus implies because this is less than zero so this implies at theta is equal to pi by 4 area is maximum now we'll find that what is the nature of the rectangle so for that we'll find the dimensions and the value of the function so when they say find the rectangle when they say find the rectangle it means we have to explain its nature we have to write down its dimensions and the value of the function so what is the length so the length is 2x which is 2r cos pi by 4 so the length is root 2 r units because it's 2 r and the value of cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 that's why and the breadth is y simply y which is r sine pi by 4 so that is r upon root 2 units and the area is 2 because sine 90 is 1 these this is to our square units so this is the uh, rectangle which has the length root to our units the breadth r by root 2 units and the area to our square units so if you are clear with the what is given and what is the target then you can easily achieve it thank you very much